Hey everyone, this is Tappers here again, and welcome back to the final attack, no damage runs. When we last left off, we were, we just defeated Glacier Man, and now we are heading to Weather Man, who is totally not a pun of what the, an occupation is. Or, he's not a disco man with a disco ball over his head. So, as you can see, we're in kind of a spring sort of atmosphere and we've got these Larry the Lawnmower type enemies or you can call them Mo the Mower or I don't have a curly joke so don't expect some sort of Three Stooges reference so too bad for that. We've got some fan gimmicks where you ride them kinda like in Windman stage but these are at least a lot more tolerable. These mower enemies are very annoying because of these leaves just going all over the place and can easily snipe you from a distance. You got these laser cannons that fire in a uh, diagonal direction. And you got a couple more, but they're really nothing to worry about. This little this screen here is kind of an easy one to speed run if you just gun it, if you just run and gun. So, nothing too hard. Now we have the summer setting where it's raining and you've got some more fans. There's the letter A, that's uh, letter number two. This little section here is kind of tricky. You have to kind of be aware of that spine analog thing. And you also get these cloud enemies that shoot thunder. And you have these Gutsman type platforms almost, except that whenever they, whenever the end hits that uh, little squiggly line thing, it'll shock the platform for like a second. And one thing to note about those is it only shocks it for just a second. It doesn't do it during the entire time. It's not like the Gutsman platforms where they'll drop the entire duration that it hits a gap or something like that. So it's not completely impossible. So uh, here's a little profile I made up on Weatherman. A good point, he's intelligent. A bad point, he's unpredictable. Get it because meteorologists aren't always accurate and all that stuff. Because, I mean, just because they say there's an 8% chance of snow, it doesn't really happen. He likes the changing of the seasons, or just the seasons in general, and hates boring weather. Because, well, you don't want just dead air and all that stuff. So, now we're in the fall-autumn setting where you've got these owl clock fan things, which are sort of like the fanboys. Or, yeah, fanboys. I'm not going to go with any sort of fan reference in that. We also have some Metars, but nothing too bad. You're basically in safe distance, and you don't have to worry about getting sniped. The last section is winter, and you have another annoying enemy. These snowmans, which can shoot buster shots, and when you kill them... They just go crazy and split into two pieces. The head will launch forward, but if you stand close enough, it'll go right over your head. The body part will lob upward, but that one, as long as you're a safe distance away, and also avoiding getting sniped by that cannon up top, or at least ambushed anyway, you don't have much to worry about. So there's one more cannon and one more... Owl fan, I don't know what to call that thing. We're at the boss corridor, which is kind of good because this is not a stage you want to spend too long because, well, I'll, I'll talk about that in the extras. For now, we're at Weatherman, and he is actually a very interesting boss. He has four different attacks, all of which he does in an order. The first one, he'll send... Le uh, he'll send Woodman leaves down from the ceiling, which are easily dodged if you're in a corner. He'll then have a uh, lightning blast come and home in at what your altitude is, or your height. A and as you can see, if you can lure him, then you have no problem. Uh, the next attack is basically just wind physics, which blow in one direction. Stay in a corner and just jump over him. The last one is the icicles. If you're in the right side of the screen, the icicles will just hit the wall for some strange reason. And with that, he's down. Which is good because the file size 
when fighting him or doing this stage is really big. I think this successful video is like almost a quarter of a gigabyte. But with that, we get the seasonal barrier. And with that, I'll show that in the extras and outtakes. So I'll see you for that one. Hey everyone, this is Tappers here, and we're back at Weatherman stage. So, now, for now, I don't have much for outtakes, or I mean extras, but what I'm going to show, aside from getting hit, is the seasonal barrier, which, as you can see, displays all four elements of the icicle, the leaves, the leaves, and uh, the sparks, which I guess are supposed to be summer. As you can see, the shield functions as it's supposed to. It blocks shots, and... It doesn't get thrown when you move. You can throw it, so there's that, but you can only throw it forward. Now, as for ammo, it uses up four per shot, so you can only get like seven barriers. Also, as far as damage, um, the barrier will stay active as long as it can kill something. In the case of these mowers, they can only... It takes two shots, so there's that. There is something else I would show with the seasonal barrier, but I will save that for another couple of videos because it involves something else and I don't want to spoil it just yet. So on to the outtakes and I'll see you next time for Earthman. Also this is uh, Gravity Beetle stage, which is really awesome music. And with that I'm going to send it forward to the outtakes. See ya.